and here we are watching Fat White Family in Oxford with the song We Must Learn to Rise. This is the second critical analysis of my film technique and how to, well, promote the band in a really good way rather than just standing there with the camera. Um, the main thing about this song is that it's really, uh, it lollops along, so that's where my camera movements are um, best suited, I think, in terms of uh, the vibe. So lots of swaying, um, to the point where it could be questionable as to how much drink I've had before the show and during. Um, the lighting was so, so good during the show that I really didn't have to um, mind too much about where the camera was pointing in to get a good look at the players. Even when they were dark, so to speak, it does look uh, intentional. Um, the vocals are a lot lower in this mix uh, for copyright reasons. Um, and also, uh, I think ultimately, if you do you like what I'm doing for this band, then check out the first part of this um, commentary show, which focuses on the band called B Movie Thieves. Um, yeah, I'm just surveying the stage. I don't know the song as well as I would like to, in order to take full advantage of all the different angles that I could uh, shoot, but sometimes you get a bit of a gem out of just going in blind. Uh, you can't really see Severin on the drums too well, uh, so that's the one blind spot, I think, when it comes to uh, the lighting. But uh, I could have worried about that for the whole of this song, or indeed the gig, but I chose not to, I thought I'd be thematic. And the song is, after all, we must learn to rise. There's a lot of going down before the shooting back up. There we go. Um, there's some wonderful strobes that are going to come on now. Yeah, there's a strobe. It's just out of time with the frame rate of the camera, so it doesn't quite come across as the way strobe normally would, but nonetheless, it's still an effect. Um, could completely blow my load and show what the audience is doing, but I'm going to save that uh, simply because, well, you don't really want to show everybody everything straight away, otherwise, you've got nowhere to go. Um, another thing that I've discovered in filming bands is that it's very tempting to try and film all the members all of the time because you feel you want to give them um, a piece there they need to be seen. Um, but that's often a mistake. It's best to save different elements of the band for later parts of the song. Especially if that person or persons you're, you're feeling that you're missing out on not moving as much. And right now the animated members of this band would obviously be Adam here on guitar. Uh, to a lesser extent, uh, Tai Chi is on bass, he's just off screen now. And of course, uh, Lee is on vocals. Um, I will move over to the other side and show a little bit of Nathan and uh, some of uh, Saul. But for now, we're just gonna concentrate on the uh, <laughs> These guys just doing their thing. And slowly I'm going back down again. I really want to take advantage of the fact that the stage looks like it's uh, down there, it looks like it's like a blackout. So obviously I didn't know I was going to do that before the song started, but every time I got an opportunity to do it before the chorus, uh, I'm getting better at going deep into the darkness. I think the last one is pretty much a blackout. See just off screen there, it comes on and off screen, but see there it is, that's my computer uh, which has a screen saver of the channel um, which I use to bookend uh, this video. Having said that, the video didn't start off um, exactly where it did when I pressed record simply because there was an issue of sound, but uh, yeah, I started off on that that screen saying Clark can swap a lot of you and then went to the band. And here we are finally on Saul. That fantastic green luminescence uh, bathing the band in a really cool way. Yeah, this calls a really technical word. Uh, 
during these lulls in a set or a song where you know things are going to build up again, it's important to have a plan. I think this is where I decided to expose um, the viewer to that missing element that there it is, the audience. Good old Oxford. Not as rabid as, say, a South London posse, but um, yeah, they were into it, I can attest. I've actually plugged my camera directly into the desk, which uh, is where the sound kind of clear for some instruments, so for our instruments, it's not like drums are clear, bass is pretty clear, um, not so much in the guitars. These guitars are okay, but Adam's guitar will be hard for the mix, but yeah, the uh, purpose of this video is to hopefully enlighten those who like filming bands or enjoy watching um, videos of bands. In the third part, we'll, uh, we'll have more. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I did. Thank you for watching. <laughs>